What's up guys, Jake here from hookahrev.com and welcome to Ask Jake number 9. Another week, another Ask Jake. That was a blatant lie. It has been well over a week. I know, I know, I'm sorry. Alright, so let's get right to it. Ask Jake, for those that don't know, that are tuning in for the first time, it's hookah Q&A, questions and answers, powered by you guys. So basically all you have to do is in the current week's video, post your questions down below, questions or something that you want to see addressed uh, on the next week's Ask Jake. So post the questions down below, or if you want to just browse, just look for other people's questions and just give it a thumbs up. Uh, and the most votes that I get on a certain question, the ones that I see are the most popular questions, are the ones that I choose for next week's video. So I aim to have them out by Monday of every week. And that doesn't always happen, but I mean, I try my best. Honestly, believe me, I try my best. So, question number one. If you haven't seen any Black Leaf tobacco reviews on my channel, uh, just do another search. I do a very big variety of shishas. Um, now, I feel like I've answered this question before, but the reason why I do so much Starbucks uh, is because what's been released lately? It's been all Starbucks flavors. So, uh, I pride myself in being able to get you guys the first reviews, the first takes. I'm sure most of you know I have a very good relationship with Starbucks as I do with other vendors. Um, but those are the flavors that get sent to me, and obviously I want to get them up first before just because, you know, you guys always want to hear about the new stuff that's coming out. So, I've done plenty of dark tobacco, uh, dark tobacco reviews like Tangiers. I don't think I've done any Nakla. Nakla is very hard for me to get in Vegas. Um, anybody that lives in Vegas is going to tell you the same thing. It has to be ordered online. But, quite frankly, I am so backed up in flavors that I have to do, uh, it's hard for me to actively go out and seek it. Another reason, and some of you guys are going to flame me for this, but... Uh, Another reason why I haven't touched the Nakla so much, I mean, I obviously could make an effort, an active effort to go out and get it, like the Nakla mix, um, and just do it, but I just feel as though, like, everybody that is inclined and that knows to buy Nakla, or even the new Nakla mix, already kind of have their own very strong opinions about Nakla, and it doesn't really matter what I'm going to say about it. Uh, granted, I understand that uh, a lot of people might want to hear my take on it, uh, but I guess just... What's searched for the most is the newer stuff that's being released. Now, I did drop the ball in the Nakla mix, so I apologize for that. But it's just very difficult for me to get, like I said. That's, that is the number one reason. Question number two. You know, for as much as I smoke, you'd think that I've had, I would have a lot more tragedies or really bad experiences. Uh, I will tell you this, knock on wood, I have not knocked over a hookah to date. So the entire five, six years that I've been smoking, still haven't knocked one over. Um, I'm pretty careful when it comes to these type of things. I've had a few friends come over, break a few bowls and all that, but I mean, that's nothing, that's nothing tragic. I will tell you though, um, well I moved now into a new house, uh, but the old house, I'm not going to lie, there's, there's two burn holes in two different areas of the house that my wife still doesn't know about. So it'll be interesting when we actually go over and try to rent that house out because, yeah, I'm going to have to replace the carpet. <laughs> um, other than that, I mean, what else is there? Oh, the, the, other, the other location. One was obviously in the, in the carpet. I basically rearranged my desk uh, in my office, the, the office that you guys have seen in the past. I rearranged my desk uh, to actually hide the carpet burn, so that's the extent that I went in. Um, it just happened that once, and just that cold just, just slipped right out of my hands. 
Uh, but the other location is, I don't know how I did this, but a coal basically dropped into the trash can, and I had a plastic trash can at the time, and it somehow melted all the way through to the bottom, so now there was a, a big hole, and that was actually a pretty funny story, because it was probably a good year and a half later, um, my wife actually takes out the trash, and she actually noticed the hole for the first time. And so, I mean, if I got away for a year, for a year and a half, I, I guess that's pretty good. Pretty good statistics. I'm trying to think of, of any other major tragedies I've had. Yeah, not a lot. I mean, I I burn my hands all the time. That's nothing new. I'm uh, to the point where I'm actually used to it. So, I mean, not too much. And I I want to let you know you're definitely not the only one that has these hookah tragedies. It happens. I've seen it happen plenty of times. Um, but yeah, for me, I, I kind of wish I had more exciting stories, but I really don't. So, sorry that I don't. Alright, so question number three. Well, not so much a question, but a request. Uh, you guys are very interested as to see my stash and what I have kind of behind the scenes. So, it's hard for me right now because I did move. A lot of you guys know that I moved. I threw away and gave away a lot of my tobacco stash. So what I'm going to do is show you this picture right here, which is actually all the tobacco that I got out of my office, my kitchen, wherever else it was hiding in my old house, and I put it together, and this is literally all the stuff that I got rid of. It was either expired, uh, well not so much of it was expired, but uh, I just had to get rid of it. It's just stuff that I didn't smoke or that I had smoked and had no interest in keeping around. Um, yeah, so that's that's basically the, the, the picture of... That gives you an idea of how much stuff, how much tobacco I actually had. That was... I, I don't even think that was uh, half of what I had and what I kept in my stash. But uh, I'm going to actually show you this video clip right here. Um, I mean, this is, this is basically just a small tour of what's happening from your angle. So it's literally right behind you guys, where, wherever you're sitting from. So this is what, this is what you don't see on camera uh, in this new house setup. Um, and then I'm just going to show you kind of a little bit of the tobacco that I have. This isn't even the stuff that I smoke in my stash. So, so here are my hookahs. Let me, this is kind of like a quiz to see if I remember the name, uh, the names of all these. So, so from left to right, got that little guy down there, my QT, it's, it's my travel hookah pretty much. I uh, got two House of Smokes Customs in the back, got this mini full cast or the KM Beast as you guys know, uh, small Sahara smoke hookah, having a little trouble remembering the name right now. Uh, then this beauty right here is an all fucker medium solid, I love this one, I've had this for a few years and no idea how... Uh, how sought out it is right now, actually. I uh, got another Sahara Smoke Hookah in front. Uh, this is one of my first ones, too. This is a Maya with an obelisk base, guy, base I believe. And in the back, I have a hookah from luxuryhookah.com. It's from a little while ago. Uh, the Cam Hamdi. Love the look of this one. Just a beautiful piece. Really simple, but just, I don't know. Just awesome. It smokes like a tank. Uh, in the back, got the... World Cup, did a review on that a little while, a while ago actually. And then we have the two hookahs that pretty much just started it all for me. You guys all recognize this one I'm sure. The Heart of the Lion, Tri-Metal, got it right this time. And this is literally my first hookah. <laughs> $20 at my local smoke shop, don't even remember where. But that was literally the first hookah that I got, just have to keep it for memorabilia purposes. Uh, this is pretty much the cabinet that I, that is behind me. This is what's literally behind the camera, or where the camera is when I'm filming. Uh, well, since we're here, let me show you. This is just a bit of it, and I know I, know I told you guys I'm not really going to show you my stash because it's, it's a little bit different now. Uh, but this is basically, just to give you an idea, some of the stuff that's in my review queue. This isn't all of it, um, but this is just the stuff that I have lined up. So, yep, just got some extra, extra stash right there. See some tangiers in the back. So yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for quizzing me. All right, so that's it for this week, guys. I appreciate your questions. 
Be sure to comment and thumbs up the questions that, or comment, post a comment on the questions that you want answered, or thumbs up other people's questions that you want answered as well, so I know exactly what to do for you guys for next Ask Jake. Till next time, we'll see you guys later.